Tricklify me, whatever you call it. But don't try and wax my chest, please. Amongst my friends, I don't think... I don't know how they dance, they wouldn't know how I dance. It's just, it's not something we do. I'm hoping that they'll be impressed because I don't think I'd be impressed with many of them if they got up. I say, having had no previous dance moves whatsoever, the floss is now my signature move, thanks to Wilfred Swan, Wilfred Richard Sidney Swan, age seven, who taught me how to do it. Thanks, mate. Mark Rampakash, because of the cricket in background, I like know ramps, know him well, and he was brilliant. He was a better dancer than, you know, 99% of the people on the show, let alone the celebs. He was amazing. I think Strictly will be fairly frightening every Saturday, getting up in front of millions of people. I, mean, I suppose it's similar to having a huge day of cricket where the whole country is expecting you to win. The difference is that I knew I could do it in cricket. I've not quite got that self-belief when it comes to Strictly yet. Hopefully that will come. It was actually my family, it was my kids. When my little boy sort of fell in love with the show, my daughter, you know, I'm a dad, I wanna, I wanna be Superman to my kids. And so I want them to, to see me on the TV and absolutely love it, absolutely love the fact that their dad's there dancing. I'm most looking forward to the waltz. It's just beautiful, so I'm looking forward to that. I love my 90s guitar based indie <laughs> but I'm not sure you can do much dance into that you know if it's if it's upbeat and it's up tempo and it's a laugh bring it on I'm pretty much ready for whatever you want to do to me strictly find me whatever you call it um, but don't try and wax my chest please I'll fight you with waxing strips I'll take eyebrows off and everything I can fight dirty as well don't do it don't push me <laughs> <laughs>